Welcome back to another video guys and today we're back with another speculation video on possible future content coming inside the game uh, So today we're gonna be speculating on a bunch of things. We have new heroes to talk about We have a brand new season that's coming. We have other things to talk about as well some future events uh, And overall, let's begin and uh, let's start uh, diving deeper uh, into these speculations now nothing is officially confirmed unless it's uh, posted officially by ng in game or reddit or their official platforms um, Because as you know in the past nothing not everything was actually confirmed like the tiers last season was 21 tiers It wasn't 25. We still have a lot of heroes and weapons and talents which have not been out yet So we don't know what's coming and if it's actually coming um so today uh, let's begin and speculate on the heroes so now we have a couple of new heroes uh here it says i'm not quite sure if everything all of them are going to be coming out there is a, an, an interesting hero as well uh but yeah let's begin so we have first hero we have t-dog uh t-dog was a hero from the earlier seasons um and he uh is a new in the code actually uh he appeared recently and uh, he appears to be a shotgun class user uh, this looks interesting uh, i am not a big fan of t-dog actually uh, i don't know if you guys like t-dog or not but um uh, yeah he is in the code so it, it's possible he might be coming out we don't know yet the next hero is um heat uh, so heat is another hero that was actually a deceased hero from the show from the uh, past seasons uh, so Heat uh, is, uh, appears to be a uh, SMG user and uh, why not? I mean, I love the SMG users, but um, uh, we don't know if it's, he's going to be coming out yet. Um, what, we, what is interesting about his next hero though, Siddiq. Uh, Siddiq uh, is actually still alive in the show uh, and Siddiq is a cool character and it's quite nice uh, to see him in the code because he appeared recently as well. Uh, what is interesting about Siddiq, so first of all, he is an assault rifle user for some uh, weird reason because I always thought Siddiq, if he ever came to the game, I thought he was going to be like a melee but here it says uh, there are strings of a weapon assault rifle usage so I, I don't know why he's going to be an assault rifle um, What's interesting about Siddiq compared to T-Dog and Heat is that here it says that he's going to be only available as a reward from events. This is usually what we get uh, from from cards which are in, uh, unlockable from events. So like Shiva and Ezekiel, we had the same uh, text uh, before they come out. And now we have the same for Siddiq. So I guess I'm not quite sure whether Siddiq is going to be uh, coming as, uh, soon. I know the season 10 missions are going to be coming as well. Obviously season 10 is starting in... in, in, uh, in um, days uh, from now so uh, it's quite possible we might see uh, Cilic I'm not quite sure yet we have to wait and see uh, but I, he's gonna be a quite interesting character I think now the next thing <laughs> I'm gonna talk about this particular hero Eugene Porter uh, and I know someone one person I know at least that loves Eugene so much uh, he likes getting Eugene all the time now um, like a year ago there was a uh, there was a um, an epic Eugene uh, with a different look uh, than the, the current uh, legendary Eugene with black coat and uh, <laughs> um, that epic Eugene might be actually this Eugene that what, it, what they're talking about here because uh, they uh, refer to him as a Eugene Porter and he's only available as a reward from events now as you know the current Eugene is not available as a reward from events he's unlockable like any other card mostly and this new it seems like a new Eugene uh, and I'm thinking about the epic Eugene that was leaked before uh, like a year ago uh, and that was actually never released because it was in the game files and it appears to be uh, I think it's this Eugene now there is no connection in it but I know there is this Eugene who's going to be available as a reward and they usually say this before new card is unlocked and the current Eugene is already available in the game to be obtainable with all the other cards so this makes me believe there might be a new Eugene on the way and I know some people are gonna love Eugene because you know Eugene is epic he's amazing um, he <laughs> epic he was an epic class as well that one um, <laughs> but yeah what do you guys think about this Eugene uh, yes no <laughs> let's see um, yeah all right moving on uh, let's talk about uh, there seems to be I think they're preparing for the season 10 missions I'm not quite sure what this is uh, it says here there's gonna be hero of the week 
play and collect rewards associated with this hero. It reminds me of last year when there was every week there was a highlighted hero and then you had specific missions with that hero. I'm not quite sure whether they're going to do the same thing this year or it's going to be actually different or there's going to be more than that. Um, because the season 10 missions, I guess they still need an update to be implemented. So it's quite possible this is not a full thing. Uh, it might just be a strings of little things. Um, I'm not really even sure if this is going to be coming out. Uh, so uh, I'm going to wait and see for an official information on this uh, before uh, making my opinion on, on it. Um, okay, uh, now moving on, Okay, uh, we have uh, a new event, the Tiger Tokens event, now or Tiger Close event, or what do you call it, Tiger Close. And basically uh, it says here that you're going to uh, have to collect tiger, tiger Claw tokens uh, for every encounter, rescue, infestation, and raider mission you win. You're gonna get bonus tokens for using King Ezekiel. So those of you that actually got Ezekiel are gonna be able to get bonus tokens. Now this is a, a specific event specific for Shiva tokens for the end of the season. Uh, that those of you that did not get Shiva, you have a last chance to get Shiva tokens uh, to unlock Shiva. Uh, and uh, yeah. Right, uh, there's some sort of Tiger Claw pack. Um, use, your tiger, use your Tiger Claw tokens uh, to claim a legendary card, terminus map, grenades, coins, or epic cards. Okay, um, okay, that's fine. Now moving on, uh, let's talk about the next season. Uh, yes, the next season has been revealed, it seems like. And so far, all my speculations on previous seasons have appeared to be correct. Now, I'm not going to confirm this that this is legit but we have to wait and see for the official announcement at the end of this season uh but the next season is called heroes unite uh from the game code uh, it says season six uh as the name ng are labeling it uh and it's supposed to start on october the third and this is straight away after the uh current season ends there's going to be no season break this season and it's going to wrap up on november the 13th um so it makes sense because I did calculate it was one week per round, so that's six rounds and it matches exactly the timing of the end. Uh, so that's going to be November 13th. Um, new boards, new challenges, yep. Uh, now what's funny enough with this season, I, 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 I think we're going to be getting three days of uh, Daryl's bike for free at the beginning of this season. I mean, U Heroes Unite season. Um, because uh, last season for the Kingdom Come, we actually got uh, the first weekend was free Daros bike as well. So it, there is a code here that says three days of VIP pass. Uh, it says uh, trial. Uh, so it could be it could be for something else. I'm not quite sure Daros bike. Oh no, yeah, it says uh, Daros bike season six trial. It's quite possible uh, that it's actually it does say season six is exactly the, the labeling of the season of the name of the season. A three-day VIP pass uh, to everyone. Rev up the new group board season with the help of Daryl's bike for three days. Uh, and this is really sick because these three Daryl's bikes are pretty, pretty nice. Uh, okay, there seems to be new packs. As you know, every season, in the beginning of every season, we have new packs. Um, so there's three packs as well this season. It, the first one is pack A called Heroes Unite. Then pack B, Heroes Unite, the moment to assemble. Uh, the first one was Time Together. And then you have a C, which is Heroes Unite. The epoch is the the epoch to amass. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, right. I think this is pretty much it for now. Um, for this kind of video, this is kind of mostly the information. Uh, we have new season. Uh, we have new possible hero cards. We have free Daryl's bike hopefully with some new packs um, and yeah I mean we're gonna have to wait and see for an official announcement uh, hopefully there should be an actual update coming out because the season 10 missions need to be implemented uh, so and as you know they have they need to have an actual update that you update from the App Store or Google Play Store for every season of boards because they're new boards and it's um, I guess that's how it works and that's how it's been uh, till now um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. What do you think about this? Are you looking forward to the new heroes? Couple of new heroes, interesting heroes. Uh, actually, heroes we've never seen before in No Man's Land as well, um, except Eugene. Uh, we have a uh, new season. Yeah, you're looking forward to that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you all in my next video.